going on, y'all? It's your boy, Funk TZ. And in the background, I got a little dose of ghosts. We're playing on a map, Strike Zone. And if you see in the kill feed, I'm rolling with the Capra Nation. You know, I got the boy, Jimmy Dean, 0059. Your boy, Sake and Mad Raj. Camping and killing. And I think there's a couple other guys that we was rolling with. Your boy, Sake and Mad Raj, his homeboy, King Pepper Chase. But I want to do a quick video um, on team camping. And that's what we do, man. Teammate camping style. Beasting and feasting. Hold down the map. And as you can see in the video, man, I'm in this spot. Mainly because, one, this is my job on this map. To hold these guys back behind B. And not let them get out. You see, we position ourselves really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. We position ourselves really good on this side of the map, on the A and C side of the map, because one, we each have a job to do. You got Sake and Mad Raj and Jimmy D holding down on the other side as I pick up the 10 piece. And um, you see my job, I'm holding down this side. I'm going from the, the doorway right here to the, to the sky bridge. Now, that is my job, and if for this to be effective, and this is how you get Ken strikes and stuff on this map, and for this to be effective, you have to actually hold down and do your job the right way. And you see me picking up the helo, and I think I'll go on a nice little 20 piece. I'm about 34 and 6, 34 and 7, something like that. I get laid down a couple times, and forgive me, this is a short video because I did not record halfway through. I was kind of frustrated about that. I wanted to show y'all how I was going in. But like I said, I got Sake and Mad Rod, Jimmy Dean on the other side, and that's the just a plus with playing with uh, with teammates that know what they're doing. It's why we are the camper nation because we adjust each other's play style. And granted, we all might not do good in every single game, but the secret to that of being a good a good teammate is not giving up so many deaths. You know, and you see me, I'm standing here right on those stairs, holding them back into the bar area. And if I move from there, they're gonna they're gonna creep through. And they're going to come back around, flank behind Jimmy D in a second, and lay him down. And the whole idea behind this is going to be for no, for not, you know. So that's just a, a benefit of playing with guys that you that you could trust, you know, unlike those randoms we get in the lobbies when we're trying to play pubs. Uh, you know, if I go in solo dolo, I, one, number one thing, I do not trust my teammates. And you will hear everybody else say this, that is fairly decent or really good at the game. That is just one thing that'll keep you aware. Just pretend like you don't have teammates because you can't trust them. I could trust these guys playing with these dudes, man. I know that they're gonna do what they're supposed to do, and whatever they're doing on that side is gonna help me continue to do my job better and keep putting these defensive freaks down like the IMS that I just picked up and being able to hold off this bridge. And it makes it really easy when you're also talking, when you're telling each other where you died, where, uh, and I don't know, this guy laid me down for some reason. It was sad, but I, I reset, and you see, I'm going to head right back to my spot. And that's just the whole point of being a good team player, keeping your desk down, making sure that, that your job is being done as best as ability. I'm going I'm to go ahead and toss this IED over here in a second. I'm going to drop my IMS down, and watch this, man. Just watch this. I'll drop the IMS, go back to the spot. You see, one guy got through because I wasn't there. But I'm going to homeboy slide into death. Oh, what did he just do? I, I don't know what the heck happened there. But watch this when I go back. I throw this IED like it's a dang C4, man. Check this out. 30 and 5. Still holding it down, doing my job. I'm going to run back over there, lay some cover fire down. And watch this. This is, this, just wait for it. Wait for it. Hold on. Just wait for it. Pop the IED over there. Boom! <laughs> That's too bad, man. Dropped it like a like a C4 sandwich, man. But yeah, that's just the whole point of being a good team player, being a good camper. And I'm a, and you know, the, another point is I'm gonna stay in this spot on the stairs, and I'm gonna get another death here. I didn't see this guy. I don't know what happened. He got through somehow. The spawns got flipped uh, somehow or another. Don't know why, but I guess one of our teammates went over there. Flipped the spawn. He just laid down right here. See what happens? They start coming from the other side. If you don't keep that that the spawn going how you had it in the beginning, that's going to create lots of chaos, all kinds of hecticness, and everything is going to be all over the place. As I get laid down, the guy gets laid down right here. And, you know, you see this spot that they were holding down, I come over and try and get that line of sight. 
and just make sure that we continue to keep the same rotation. If you if you think about soccer on the offensive, if you've ever played soccer, you put a triangle of uh, offense down. You have somebody to pass back and forth to. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're passing back these kills. These guys are blocked down on either side of the map. They only have two two to three ways to exit out, and we just keep them locked down in the bar area and keep the camper the camper uh, team camping going on as good as we can. But anyway, sorry for the quick video, y'all. It's your boy, Fog TV. I'm out. Peace. Look at King Paper Chase in there getting that ESPN top 10. Dun-na-na, dun-na-na. It just got funky.